All right, welcome back. Let's see, um, we're getting started on the second week. The uh, focus of this uh, particular week will be uh, software requirements. Right, remember, the, uh, the software requirements is the most vulnerable phase of an, app, of an application of any project, uh, trying to foresee as much requirements as we can, as we can um, uh, realistically uh, have an understanding of that's uh, is very important. Although we cannot have real un unrealistic expectations that we're going to uh, be able to foresee everything, right? So, uh, so ha we have to understand the the limitations of us being able to understand the entire domain uh, and how vulnerable it is that uh, we we uh, we try to focus on too much details on things we don't yet understand uh, and be able to deal with the fact that things are going to change, right? Things are going to get hectic, and we have to be able to and you know adapt. And today's that's kind of like our, the industry standard, right? Of using uh, agile techniques to to be um, uh, to uh, you know to understand that uh, things are going to change, and uh, how is it that we're going to uh, respond to that, right? Uh, so yeah, so last last week we uh, we introduced the the course. Uh, we uh, we started looking at some of the minor um, skills that we're going to be needing. In particular, we looked at uh, source control. Uh, we looked at some of the uh, the software development the software development life cycle. Right, we, we looked. We compared uh, legacy uh, methodologies such as waterfall and compared against uh, agile. And so this week is mostly uh, requirements: how to how to represent them, how uh, what types of requirements there are, functional, non-functional, business requirements, uh, user requirements, and uh, and how they are are documented and and how they evolve over time uh, to actually uh, be uh, be uh, um, specific enough that we can actually build something. Um, we're also going to go over the, the next assignment, assignment number two, um, and, uh, and also the project statement. We'll, we're going to introduce what, uh, what, what is it that we're going to be working on. All right. uh, okay. uh, this, uh, the, this, this particular assignment is still, is still individual. You'll be working just on your own. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week we'll have everybody's, um, everybody's uh, CCIS so that we can create the uh, Jira accounts for you and we can start setting up um, the, uh, the different uh, teams. Uh, that's going to be a little hectic, uh, the, the teams. Uh, I believe about 80% to 90% of the teams will be able to set them up, uh, no problem. But there's always a lingering a subset of folks that uh, are either changing between teams or wanted to be in this team but not in the other, um, or, um, or they want to work by themselves, or you know, there's, there's going to be uh, quite a few that uh, are, are uh, that we're going to have to deal on a one uh, one to one basis, right? So, um, all right. So let's uh, let's chat about uh, requirements. Uh, 